Hi guys! So, um, this week it's not going to be a painting video. Someone suggested a really good idea of showing some of my sketchbooks, like the stuff I share on Instagram, but just kind of talk about it. But I thought it'd be really cool to start with showing some of the oldest, oldest pieces that I've ever had that I did in high school and really old stuff to start. Yeah, I thought I'd show you how sluggy all started. Um, and it's just to show everybody that, you know, you always start somewhere, like, nobody is born amazing at art. And then also, if you feel like some of your work is not at this level, even though you're in high school or something, really, like, people start at different stages, there's no point, really, in comparing yourself to other people. But still, I just thought I'd show you guys, like, how I started, the kind of stuff I liked in high school, and just warning you, like this one, a lot of my stuff in high school is a lot darker. I was really, really interested in the sub, the goth subculture, and I still am, but I just don't have the guts to dress like some of those people, even though I really love the style and the look of everything. But yeah, so I guess I did my best to put it in chronological order of what I think, of when I think I made these, but anyway, here's the one of the first images that I'm showing. It's, um, it's just like this ha creepy house with a girl and her like evil, evil teddy bear. Um, yeah, I just, I was also really interested in Tim Burton and stuff like that. So I really like that like creepy wonky style. Yeah, so that's the start. Um, I don't remember when I did this, but I, I was also interested in, of course, like, you know, manga style and anime. So this was a watercolor piece and I have, n I haven't used watercolor in so long. It was just like a little fairy girl, I guess, on a mushroom. Okay, this one's another weird dark one. Um, it's, you know, if you can read, this says, who am I? And it's a girl looking at her reflection in the mirror and she has a bunch of heads that she chooses from. I guess I was probably going through something in high school where I didn't know, you know, my personality and stuff and I was, yeah. I had fun with this mirror thing though. This was fun to do. Okay, here's another one. <laughs> God, I hope you I wonder how I like surprise you guys are to see this. Um, yep, it's a girl with lots of blood and gashes on her legs. Oh my gosh, I don't know if this was a good idea to show <laughs> show everyone this. But anyway, this one I think I remember thinking like, um, what if like there was a mime girl who was um, trapped and stuff, you know, like with chains and stuff, but she's a mime, so she can't call for help, and so she can't do anything. She, like, can't help herself at all. There's, like, she's trapped and stuff, and her little beret is falling off. Ooh, 2007. Oh, man. Yeah. Here's, um, <laughs> just a little skull girl. I really loved combat boots, and I liked stripes a lot, and I just thought it looked good with the red <laughs> heart. Uh, and this is, you know, trying to be gangster, but also punk, I guess. Um, yeah, typical crossbone, but <laughs> I, there, it even says, I don't know if you can see this, but it says east, oops, it says east side. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, and then these are supposed to be bullet holes. <laughs> Um, I also was really, I really like this type of haircut too, so you can see that, you'll probably see that in a lot of these, and it's like the pigtail kind of look. Um, yeah, supposed to be just a girl who's into, who can see her insides. Uh, I went through a very emo phase as well. <laughs> so here it says he ripped my heart out, and it's literally a girl who has her, um, her chest stitched even though this the, the stitch is more looks more like worms but you know it's okay and I was really proud of the hair I remember because I really liked this style like I said I was also really into a comic series by an artist called Fu Sui Chin it's called nightmares fairy tales and nightmares I think if anyone knows who this character is and has read those series dude we should be friends because I love this little doll that's featured in the in the um, in the comic. 
And yep, she's got, you know, big feet like the ones I like. Um, I think this is where I was trying to do stuff that's a bit, a little bit more realistic. Um, I think it's actually like this, because it's like upside down. She's got like, she's <laughs> Tarzan, I guess, and she's got vines going through her hair with like butterflies and stuff. Yeah. Oh, and more exploration. Oh my gosh, I seriously don't know. This was a good. You guys might think I'm like insane. Okay. Um, and then this. This is actually my first try at screen printing. This is really cool because like I made, I did a sketch of this guy, of this line, and then when you screen print it, then I can have like multiple copies of the line work itself. And then I actually did a bunch of like different, you know, designs for, for the, uh, what happens around it and stuff. So that was cool. I actually really enjoy screen printing. Um, Yep, this is like some kind of creepy spawn character of some kind. Yep, this is me in high school, guys. I think this was another one where I was trying to do something a bit more realistic, like learning to, you know, really observe. So I was trying to do these hands like extra realistic and stuff and like doing an angle that was weird. But I think I gave up on it, clearly, because I didn't finish the hair and stuff. Oh, yeah. And then this one was an interesting one where I was, it's just a girl looking at a butterfly, but the butterfly is made out of feathers, so it was like a interesting concept. Um, this one, I think this is actually a homework piece. Like, we were supposed to take a um, a letter or a sentence from a poem or book we were reading, and then draw it. So this one says, his flashing eyes, his floating hair, weave a circle around him thrice. So that's what I did. Oh, cool. I didn't know that was my old signature. I might keep that. Um, <laughs> yep, just a lonely little teddy bear. Oh, cool. Now we're getting into the part where I've started to, I think, get into digital painting. So I did this sketch um, of these two little anime girls, and then this was probably my first ever dabble into digital art and digital painting. Yeah, whoa, this is weird. This is really old. So there's this guy, and then the next one's really embarrassing, so please don't laugh at me, but <laughs> it's... it's <laughs> A, a girl on the toilet and her friends just like barge in and take a, tries to take a picture of her. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh my goodness. But <laughs> yeah, I also remember really liking, um, what do you call it? Like checker pattern tiles and bathrooms and kitchens. So that was what I was into. Yeah, this is, oh my gosh, I do not know what I was thinking. Why did I paint this? But anyway, this is the start of my career, guys. Hope you guys like it. So I think that's everything. So this is obviously just like not everything I had. I had a sketchbook as well that um, where I would draw stuff in it, but I definitely have no idea where that is now. I'm sure it's gone in the dump somewhere. But yeah, so I'll, like I said, this is the start. Um, this, like, I really hope you guys can see that my work has improved because, you know, practice makes you better. So this is why I really suggest practicing because your work always gets better as you, you know, as you go on. That's why, like, when I, that's why I love seeing the old works of artists because um, um, you really believe, you, know, you can really see like how much work, uh, how much their work has improved and that makes you feel like, yes, you can do it too, you know? Um, yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it and this was eye-opening. I hope none of you think I'm like um, a murderous, like crazy person or anything as of the stuff I drew. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna do my best with a painting video soon like another one that's more, you know, instructional and um, like, yeah, time lapse. And then I will want to show some of my more recent sketchbooks so that you can see, I guess, you know, like the update and the progress of the stuff I've worked on. Anyway, 
Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!